setting off to a flying start as the goal at the beginning of any group stage. Match day one coming up at the European Championship. Which team will come storming out of the traps today? Ball, the floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And today, it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's the Netherlands, and they take on Turkey. Well, it's vital that you don't have an off day in these group games. Consistency is key to progressing further in the tournament. I'm looking forward to a hard-fought contest here today, Derek. This is how the starting lineup looks today. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Good run, very much in control of the situation. Oh, great defending. And here's the lineup for Turkey. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Now, oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Well, if you're playing against Cody Gakpo, you'd better be on your toes. What might we see from him in this match? Well, Derek, we know his movement is very clever, but it's the speed of that movement that causes defenders so many problems. He's got great pace, he gets 1v1 against the goalkeepers, and nobody can recover. Chalanolu. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Gakpo. Well, no matter the cast of characters, as always, something exciting and dynamic about the Netherlands at a major international tournament, famously winners of the Euros back in 1988. But maybe question marks about this particular generation. Do they have enough, Stuart? Well, I don't think they've quite got enough. Yes, they've got some good players, some world-class players, I would say. But as a team, they haven't performed well enough over the course of several years now. Will they be good enough to win this? It was in Germany where you mentioned they did win it in 88. Can they do it again? I don't think so. Can he put them in front? Oh, a challenge of the highest order. Muldur. And a throw coming up after a really fine piece of tackling. Mert Muldur. Zali Özcan with it. Bardacci. Karl Ayhan. Muldur. Went in strongly to win the ball. Virgil van Dijk. Jordi Schouten. Good movement. Jordi Schouten. Bergwijn. Now with Depay. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Abdul Kerim Badachi. Khan Ihan working away patiently, looking for an opening. 
Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. Xavi Simons. Nathan Ake here. Well, they're a bit like a passing machine, and you can understand why they want to play it that way in front as they are. And he's broken free. It's gone in. Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, let's look at this again. And what a one to it is to unlock the defence. And that's a great finish from Depay. 1v1 against the keeper. He never looked like missing. That's a top-class finish. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. He's given us away. Ferdi Kadioglu. Lovely work to get past his man. Oh, not great defending. Could reduce the deficit. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Under the full weight of the pressure. And the flag has gone up here. Offside the decision. Losing possession. Ake. Van Dijk with it. Tajani Reinders. Gakpo. Reinders. Not high quality defending. Karl Eihan. And the emphasis is on creativity. There will be a goal kick here. Well, I think Memphis is perfectly entitled to feel happy with the performance he has put in, Stuart. Well, he's looked unstoppable today. Quick, clever, skillful, and he's taken his goals really well. He's been wonderful to watch. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, what can we say about Memphis Depay and his first-half performance? He was stunning, really, Stuart, wasn't he? Well, he's been brilliant. He finished his goals really well. He's shown a great awareness of how to find space. And his movement has caused them all sorts of problems. Surely he'll get his hat-trick in the second half. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Ake. Virgil van Dijk. 
Reinders. Gakpo. Nathan Ake here. And passing it well. Another perfect position to read it. Meat Muldur. Özcan. Khan Ihan. Zani Özcan with it. Chalanolu. Well, the attack looks promising. But the danger averted for now. The pie. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Options in the middle. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Meat Muldur. And danger averted. Well read. Gakpo. Khan Ihan. Zali Özcan with it. Options in the centre. Superbly read and executed. Tayani Reinders. Chance to reduce the arrears. Look like a certain goal, but that's a great challenge. Gakpo and the defenders know they need to get tighter chances on foiling his opponent completely there has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches The corner played into the box, struggling to get it away. De Frey, nice looking move this. It might be a goal. He's dispatched it, much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Khan Ihan, Muldur, Kukchu, in position, it's gone in, and well he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Well, it's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. Doniel Malin.
And it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Bardacci. Just ten minutes remaining here. Ferdi Cadioglu. It's with Chalanolu. Who's Chan? Bardacci. Kukchu. He must finish! Well, not straightforward, but that was a chance to give themselves life. And it was close, but if they're going to get back into this, they need to score from those sort of chances. Five minutes left. Tajani Reinders. Nicely timed tackle. Yilmaz. And the pie on the ball. Well, he's certainly not alone. Really good challenge. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Well, he has the measure of his opponent, using his physical strength to shield it. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. And there's the final whistle. The Netherlands have won the game. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Well, a superb performance up to this point, Stuart, from Memphis. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.